Naruto, 8 Most Ridiculous Techniques Here are several of the most over-the-top and out-there techniques from Naruto that would challenge even most hardcore fans' suspension of disbelief. In a universe where almost anything is possible, the shinobi of Naruto spend their time creating and mastering immense techniques. Giant balls of flame, destructive lightning bolts, and torturous genjutsu techniques. These are just some destructive abilities possessed by extraordinary ninja. However, occasionally, a technique is created that is then labeled as ridiculous. Maybe because it's unconventional, strange or considered unbefitting of a shinobi. Whatever the reason, they have a tendency to surprise even the most experienced ninja. Often employed as a last resort, these ridiculous techniques are used to save lives and win battles. 8. Harem Jutsu Distracts Even the Most Powerful Shinobi One of only a few techniques Naruto mastered whilst in the academy, the Harem Jutsu transforms multiple shadow clones into beautiful women. Although it may not sound like much, the harem technique worked on notable ninja, including the third Hokage and Jiraiya. It offers no offensive power but distracts an opponent long enough for Naruto to escape or unleash a more powerful ability. Furthermore, Naruto can transform his clones into beautiful men, a variation that worked on the godlike Kagaya. 7. Drunken Fist Makes Rock Lee Unpredictable Rock Lee is known for his exceptional taijutsu, relying on superhuman balance and coordination to pressure his opponent. Because of his established style, it was surprising to see a drunk Rock Lee exceed his sober self. In his drunken form, Rock Lee landed several blows on the powerful Kimimaro, having had little success when sober. The drunken fist makes Lee's movements unpredictable, his opponent no longer able to predict his fighting patterns. It might be fair to say Lee is never more formidable than when he is drunk. 6. A Thousand Years of Death Jutsu Isn't As Deadly As The Name Suggests Although the name is an exaggeration, the jutsu is formidable when used correctly. It involves inserting one's index finger into the opponent's rectum, causing temporary pain and permanent embarrassment. Practically useless in battle, Kakashi uses the technique when training his students. It is first seen during the bell test with Kakashi targeting Naruto's blind spot and unleashing the technique. With this, the copycat ninja taught Naruto about the importance of awareness without hurting him in the process. Too much. 5. Shuriken Whatever Jutsu Proved Jiraiya Lacked Natural Talent Before Jiraiya the legendary San Nin, there was Jiraiya the hopeless Genin. Similar to his student Naruto, Jiraiya lacked natural talent. Overshadowed by the effortless brilliance of Orochimaru. Whilst training with the rest of his team, Jiraiya attempted to copy Orochimaru's Shuriken Shadow Clone Jutsu. Appearing serious. He performed the necessary hand signs before proclaiming whatever jutsu and unleashing several shuriken. The technique was unimpressive and earned Jiraiya a knock to the head by Tsunade. 4. Frilled Neck Lizard Jutsu was one of Toby's most hilarious technicities. At first, it appeared that Toby's character was intended for nothing more than comic relief. He would comically argue with his partners frustrating Daidara and pointing out his mistakes. His jutsu often reflected the silly nature of his character, with many of them pointless, yet hilarious. His frilled neck lizard technique occurred during his fight with Team 7. When Toby's cape fell due to him hanging upside down, causing him to bear some resemblance to a frill neck lizard. 3. Tengai Shinsei defied logic by summoning meteorites. Unlike many of the techniques on this list, Tengai Shinsei is deadly. After performing the required hand seals, the user can summon massive meteorites from the atmosphere. 
This jutsu was used by Madara to decimate the allied shinobi forces and needed the full power of two kages to prevent even further chaos. Tengai Shinsei was unlike any jutsu fans had seen before. Causing Garus to question if this was the power of a god. It fully deserves to be called ridiculous. 2. Kamui disregarded the boundaries of the physical world. A popular ability amongst fans of the show, Abito's mastery of Kamui made him appear invincible. In fact, the power was so great it made many ninja believe Abito truly was the legendary Madara. What makes the technique ridiculous is the explanation of how it works. Kamui allows the user to transport objects to another dimension, leaving no trace behind. Most jutsu use earthly elements and abide by the laws of physics. Kamui does neither, making it feel like it was plucked straight from a sci-fi film. 1. Whack-a-mole technique utilized Tobi's elusiveness. Another comedic technique popularized by Tobi, the whack-a-mole utilizes Kamui to pop up in front of unsuspecting opponents and strike them. To add to its ridiculousness, Tobi uses a stick as his weapon of choice, popping up to quickly attack the members of the Sasuke recovery team. The Akatsuki member decides to name it the whack-a-mole technique. Although Kakashi aptly points out that it's the mole who does the whacking. If Tobi desired, he could make this technique far more deadly, but where is the fun in that? <laughs>